Hey everybody, so today we are uh, going to talk about notebooks. And again, I mentioned you should get a spiral notebook. You should have a spiral notebook for our geometry class. If you have a three ring binder, that's okay. Um, I prefer a spiral notebook though. We don't have to worry about putting our notes in there or keeping track of them. This, this has everything in there. Um, so let's talk about notes. Uh, real quick, when we start to take notes, leave this first page blank. Okay. Uh, and I'll explain why we're going to leave this first page blank. We're going to actually start notes on the back side of the first page. And the reason why I like doing that is because over here, we're going to have all our definitions, uh, the words we're defining, um, diagrams or symbols of the words, right? Every, all the information we need will be on the left-hand side in order to work out the examples that will be on the right-hand side. Okay. If, if we would have written it on the front page, then we'd be flipping back and forth, trying to figure out, um, you know, what does collinear mean? How do I draw a line segment? Um, how do I name a ray, right? It's easier to answer the following questions just by looking to the left instead of flipping back and forth. Okay, so that's why I say do it this way. So this will be the first notes we'll do. Um, the next set of notes, same idea. Over here is all the information we'll use to answer these questions. Okay, um, so that's that guy. We'll start notes next class session. This is for geometry. Hopefully you have one. If not, get one.